Hi everybody, welcome to another strength and stretch full body fitness Pilates etc workout. I have done one previously which I will link in a card for you uh, but this is a new one. I know during this time these kinds of workouts are very helpful so grab a mat. All you're going to need for this one is a TheraBand. No weights, no extra stuff, just this guy. Any kind of strength you want we're going to do arms with it. So let's start feet parallel like we did with the other one. Big inhale up and open and again big inhale up and open and the same stretch we started the other one grabbing on to the left arm up and over to the right good just to get us going coming back up straight grab the other arm up and over to the left good and coming back up roll those shoulders Roll that neck a little bit, make sure it's all relaxed. And we're actually gonna start with a little bit of yoga today. So come to the front of your mat. Big inhale up. We're just gonna sit down in what's called chair to start and come back up and down, I'll face you. So inhale up, sitting down in chair, getting those legs going and down. And again, up, back really pressing into the legs as you straighten, getting, getting them warm, plie, and up and down. Now we're going to change it. Inhale, plie, swing the arms back, swing the arms through, and up and down, and up, chair. Just again, getting those legs warm without doing too much to them right now. Up and down, swing, swing. Good, one more time and up and down and swing and swing and up. So now staying at the front of your mat, we're gonna inhale up, hinging forward, fingertips touch the ground very gently as we warm up, looking up and down and look up again and down and then big breath up and down. Let's repeat that, big inhale up, hinging forward, good, fingertips to the floor, Look up, getting that spine warm, back down. One more look up and down. Good, and then coming back up and down. Last time, big inhale up, hinging down, looking up and down. You can keep a soft bend in the knees, up and down. Good, adding on, we go up hinging forward, fingertips to the floor. Let's stay here for a minute. Bend the knees just to get everything going and straighten. Looking up again, down. Step back to high plank, top of a push-up position. And just hold it there for a minute. Abs are engaged, shoulders down. Try not to sink into those shoulders and press back to downward dog. Give it a little stretch, we're still warming up. Good. Come back to plank. Hold for a minute. And back to downward dog. Good. Press those heels down. Get those calves going. Good. And again, over up to plank. Good. And coming back. Good. And one more time to plank. Good. And come back to downward dog. Just hold it for a minute. Bend one knee. Stretch out that Achilles and that calf for a minute. Good, and switch. Again, the, the whole point of this little warm up is not to create, you know, crazy Instagram positions. We're just warming up right now. Good, keep switching. Come back to plank. Now what we're gonna do is bend the arms, chaturanga it's called, lower yourself down. And for this first little back bend, just Lift your back up off the floor. We don't need to go up high. Try not to use your hands. Get those back muscles warm. We're not pressing up yet. Good. And come back down. Press back to downward facing dog. Good. And we're gonna do that again. Come forward to top of a push up. Bend the arms coming down. Uncurl the toes. This time, mini cobra. Don't come up all the way yet. Again, we're still warming up. Just getting everything going. Coming back down, curl the toes under, push back to downward facing dog. Good, hold it here. 
And again, this time we're going to go forward, chaturanga, bend the arms. This time we're going to come up into full. Good, cobra. Again, gentle stretching. We're not going for Cirque du Soleil here. It's not the point of this. Good, and press back to downward facing dog. Good, one more time. Solid position, use those abs, bend the arms coming down. This time, if you can, upward facing dog. Knees are off the ground. Good. And curl the toes under. Push back to downward facing dog. Just hold for a minute. Make sure that neck is relaxed. Good, walk your feet into your hands. Bend those knees, let's hang out here for a minute. Let that spine relax. Good, now let's sit up into chair. So coming up to chair, hold for a minute. That's gonna get those legs warm. Hello, good, solid position. Relax the shoulders, don't let the shoulders come up. All the work in your legs and then push up to straighten. And lower the arms, good, roll those shoulders. Make sure we're nice and warm before we get started with the workout. Let's do one more little stretch, calf. Not calf, that's your quad. So nice quad stretch, gentle. It's also waking up the abs for balance. Good. And then release it, holding. Whoops, someone needs to work on their balance. Hello. <laughs> and release, good. All right, you guys have probably done my little plie series by now, so we're gonna keep building on those and change it up just a little bit. So start as usual, heels together, lifting tall, shoulders relaxed, find the balance. I just want you to balance for now, find this position, and we're just gonna do medium, lower, lower, and up. And one, and two, and three, and up. One, and two, and three, and up. Good, keep breathing down and up. Relax those shoulders. It's real easy to start doing this on these. And one, and two, and three, and up, and one, and two, and three. Good, last one like this. Good, now come halfway up and just pulse, but lower, a little bit lower than we were doing in the other one. Really feeling those quads, relax those shoulders. Good, pulse, pulse, pulse. Heels are glued together, good. Now you guessed it, we're gonna hold. Just hold, breathe. Hello quads, hello stability muscles, good. And now I want you to come straight up to a first position balance, like normal ballet, okay? Without releasing. Uh -huh. Yeah, we gotta make it harder than the last one, guys. So, abs are in, everything's tall, you can even do perfect ballet arms. Guess what we're gonna do now? Close those eyes, close those eyes. Imagine you're solid into the floor, good. Because guess what, if you can balance with your eyes closed, you can balance with your eyes open. Open the arms and release, good. Same thing in parallel. Remember, knees are tracking straight on this. This is gonna work a different part of the ankle. So, small, medium, large, come up. Small, somebody hasn't done this in a while. <laughs> Woohoo! And one, two, three, and up. And one, two, three, and up. And one, and two, three, and up. Good. Remember, as always, I'm counting. That's not your job. That's my job. You focus on the muscle. Good. Last one. Hold it down there and just pulse and pulse and pulse. Good. All five toes on the floor, we're not rolling out, we're not rolling in, just keep pulsing, good. Breathing, knees are tracking straight. Hold it, relax the shoulders, make sure you're not tensing up here. Now come straight up to releve, find your balance, in parallel, different feeling. Once you've found it, close your eyes. All five toes, that's the tricky one, we wanna roll to those outside, pinky toes, Woo! <laughs> Looper real or not. Good. Weird, right? And release. It's so weird to balance in parallel because we're so not used to that. So that's a good thing to work on by yourself. Okay. So 
Now we're gonna do fourth position. I can't remember if we did fourth last time, but we're gonna do it this time. So, one parallel, two, three, and up, and one, and two, and three, and up. On this one, make sure that big toe is pressing into the ground in the front leg, and up, good. One, two, three, and up. I think we did second in the last video. Good, two more like this. Remember, keep it out of the shoulders. Good. Hold it down there and pulse and pulse. Again, work on not rolling out to that pinky toe. Good. Breathe. Mm-hmm. Now hold it. Come straight up to releve. You can turn out if you like or parallel. Up to you. If you're maybe repeating this video, do a different position than you did last time. Make sure it's crossed. Find it when you've got it, close your eyes. Use those abs, strong ankles. Amazing how much our vision helps us balance, which, and release, which is useful when you're in class, guys. This is really important. If you're kinda gaze somewhere, your balance is not gonna be good. Okay, last side, other foot front, we do, down, 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 and up, and down, and down, and down, and up. Good, keep breathing, and up, and down, and down, and down. Even here, be aware of what your eyes are doing. Are they alert? Are you focused on something? Two more, down, 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 and up. Last one, hold it, little pulses, Good, breathing, be aware of what you're looking at, be aware of how your everything is tracking, good. Hold it, come straight up to releve, either turn in or turn out, whichever you didn't do last time. And when you found it, close those eyes, use those abs, all five toes in the floor, lift up out of your legs, good and release it, good. Stretch out those Achilles for a minute. This is gonna feel really weird, but turn your legs parallel and plie. You should feel that in your Achilles. You feel that? So it's really good to do at bar too, between combinations, just saying. Okay, now let's do a little balance work. We're gonna start in a back lunge. Pick a leg, any leg, doesn't matter, we're gonna reverse it. For now, we're just gonna do passe parallel flat and down, passe parallel flat, and down. Be aware, are you rolling to the outside toes? Do not roll. Up and down. And up and down. We want completely flat foot. Don't pronate either way. Good, now we're gonna hold it. Hold, turn it out, turn it in, and down. Again, building on that last workout that we did, a little bit different sequence. Down, up, turn it out, turn it in, and down, and up, turn it out, turn it in, doing great. Up, turn it out, turn it in, good. Keep breathing, you can put your arms in first, it's fine too, but actually, it's harder without using your arms. Good, last one, come back to parallel and hold it. When you're ready, yep, close your eyes. Close your eyes, big toe to the floor, shoulders relaxed. Find that balance and release. Good, other side, we do. Up and down, just to start. Up and down, and up and down, and up and down, like you're pushing to a pirouette. And down, we're on flat for now though, down, up, good, here comes the change. We do up, turn it out, turn it in, and down, woohoo, up, turn it out, turn it in, and down, and up. Strong supporting leg, there's your pirouette, right there, good. Turn it out, again, you focus, I'm counting, that's my job, out, and in, good. Good clean positions, no pronating. 
Good. One more. And then we're going to hold it. Don't put it down if you can. Hold it. Once you find it, close your eyes. Good. And release. Okay, back to the first side. We're going to do only the first part, but up to releve. Have fun with this. It's like your pirouette. Still parallel. We do. Releve. Lower down. Releve. Lower down. It might not be pretty, but that's okay. Lower down. Releve. Lower down. Releve. Lower down. Releve. You'll get it. See, you'll find it. Up. And we're going to do twice as many. Keep going. And up. Lower down. Control that landing. Try not to fall. Good. Shoulders back. Good. Four. Three. Two. One. And down. Good. Other side right away. Back to your lunge position. Up and down. And up and down. And up. Good. Nice and tight. Be really clean. Good. Use those calves. And up. Again, you can do arms if you want. Up and down. Not meant to be that pretty, but it really shows you where your balance is. Good. Last four. Four. Three. Two. One. Excellent. Good. Come back face the front. All right. While those calves are tired, come to your mini first position. We're going to do our little calf raises. So straight leg, releve, and releve, and releve, and releve. Uh-huh. Here for now. Good. Keep going. Just releve. And releve, releve, uh-huh. Yep, don't hate me. It's good for you. Now use your plie. Plie, releve, plie, releve, plie, releve. Hello. Plie, releve, plie, releve. Mm-hmm. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Go up to releve. Find your balance. Close your eyes. Come down. Last set. Parallel. Here we go. Straight leg. Up and down. Different muscle. It's good to do them in parallel sometimes. Up and down and up and down. Good. Keep breathing. Watch out for this. No bueno. Yeah? Relax. Good. Up. Plie. Plie. Releve. Plie. Releve. Are you dying yet? I can hear you screaming into the camera. Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys, this is good for you. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one, and hold. Find your balance. That was bad. When you've got it, close your eyes. And release. Good. Let's stretch one calf back. Ooh. Whoa, Nelly. Yeah. That's good. That's good, man. You do that every day. That little set right there, your releves, you do that every day between now and the time you come back after this whole mess, other leg, you're going to be a beast. You're going to be a beast. Your point work, your jumps, just the calves are everything. The calves are everything. So really, really be aware of that. Let's pick up our TheraBand. I want to give your legs a break. We're going to do one more little leg thing, um, but I want to give your legs a break. So we're going to use TheraBand for arms. If yours is long enough, we're going to do both arms, um, but if not, you can do one at a time. So what we're going to do is we're first going to step on it, and you're not going to be able to go very high probably unless you have a really long TheraBand, but we're just going to lift away and come down. I want you to feel your back muscles, right? Not in the shoulders, and up and down. Again, if it's too short, do one. That works too. And down, and up, and down. The point of this is not about how high it is. We're just engaging those lats, feeling those muscles, and also your obliques, the sides. Good. Up and down. Four more. Three, two, one. Now I want you to hinge, bend the knees. You can even do this with one foot on your TheraBand. That's fine. Now we're going to try... And again, open 
and down. Open and down. And open and down. Just engaging those lats. Try not to take this in the shoulders. Up and down. Up. Good. Breathing. This is great alternative if you don't have weights. And it's hard to go out and get weights right now. Up and down. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Coming back up. Now I want you to take it, make it a little bit shorter, right, like this. All we're going to do is pull it apart, pull it apart, pull it apart. Now we're working the chest muscles. Pull it apart. There's your first position, right? Pull apart, pull apart. Amazing how just one little TheraBand can do so much. <laughs> Good. Keep breathing. Uh-huh. Pull it apart, pull it apart. Good. Breathe. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it for a second. Now I want you to come up to first and open. Do you feel the lightness? Uh huh. That is the point of that exercise. So you now have a lightness to your port of bras. Okay. Now we're going to do one arm. Regardless of how long your TheraBand is, step on it, bicep curl. Again, it's not the greatest for biceps. If you have weights, it might be better to use weights on this one, but this works too. And the harder you step on it, the tougher it is. Good. Keep breathing. And up. And up. And up. And up. Last four. Three, two, one. Good. Other side. Switch it. Also helps to like take one loop around your hand and bicep curl. Oh, I need to step on that more. Up. Good. Up. And up. Up. Control. Stay tall. Don't lean into it. Good. You're actually using your whole body because you're fighting the TheraBand. Good. Up. Up. Last four. Three. Two. One. Good. Take the TheraBend now behind you. Wrap it around. We're going to do the same pull, but behind you. Pull. Pull. Almost like out and up. Up and up. Out and up. A little bit different of an exercise than just typical triceps, out and up. So if I'm facing you, this is what this looks like. Out and up, out and up, good. Out and up, keep breathing. Again, you always have the option to do normal triceps with your weights if you want. This is just a little bit different. Good, eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Roll the shoulders out. Let's stretch out the arms for a minute. Over and across. Good. Pop your toes if you want. Good. <laughs> Breathing. Over and back. Getting into the tricep. If that was not enough arms for you, rewind and repeat it. You can always repeat. That's another reason. Other arm. It's another reason I love doing classes on YouTube. A lot of you have asked me to do them live, but this way you can go back and rewind. <laughs> and repeat, or make it harder, or go pick up some weights, or whatever you want to do to make your life even harder. Um, you can always repeat. Guys, if you feel something's too easy, do it again. All right, relax the shoulders. Okay, one last standing exercise before we go to the ground. This is how to work on your jumps while during this time without jumping. Okay? You might have seen me give this in another like injury video, but this is fantastic for you to do right now. We're going to start out in the lunge, and we're going to start just up and down, and up and down. We're going to do three different sets, and up and down, and up and down. Good. As if you're landing from a jump, and up and down. Good. And up. Four more like this. Four, three, 
two, one. Good, now leave your weight a little bit. Wanna leave the weight, look, this is now more resistance. Push, push, push. Each time, roll to your feet, push, and push, 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 good. Keep breathing, push, 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 good. Land, 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 last four, three, two, one. Good, before we do the third set, I wanna go to the other side because the third set's the hardest. So, starting in your lunge, this is the one where you can move. Up and land, and up, rolling down, as if each time you're coming down from that jump, good, resist, really resist, up and down, up and down, up, all five toes, again, try as you land, not to roll one way or the other, four more, four, three, two, one, leave the weight forward, and land, and land, and land, and land. Good, you should really start to be feeling this. Maybe you're a little shaky, that's okay. And land, and land, and land. Resist each time as if you're coming down in your first position, down and down. Your legs are gonna be tired because we did all that other stuff, but push through it, this is how you get stronger. Good, last four, three, two, and one, back to the other side. This time we're gonna be in a full lunge forward, not up, down. Now, don't move and go up and down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. This is the hard one, good, breathe. Mm -hmm. Push and push, push and push. This one's not pretty, <laughs> it's for strength. Good, good, mm-hmm. Last eight, four, three, two, one, good. Last set, lunge forward, shoulders over the knee, and push and push and push. This is also great if you're coming back from an injury. This is how you get your jumps back. Good, push and push, push and push. Down and down, almost there, hang in there. Good, last eight, seven, don't move the upper body. Four, three, two, one, good. Stretch it out, do this one again. This should feel good. If your archers are cramping, maybe go get a little ball, pause the video, roll them out, breathe, and we're gonna come down to the mat. Okay, before we do our, our side leg series, y'all know I love a side leg series, um, we're gonna do some tricep dips. For those of you who were thinking that we weren't doing enough arms, I know there were some of you. So, uh, shoulders, shoulders, hands under your shoulders, Anatomy 101, okay, <laughs> lift the hips up just slightly, we're not all the way up here, just here, and just dip, 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 good. Breathing, and breathing, chest is relaxed, neck is relaxed, good, dip, dip, dip. Mm-hmm, breathing, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, that's all you need. Come seated, let's stretch it out a little bit. Good. And stretch it out. Good, okay, so we're gonna start with some hip stabilization exercises that we used to do a long, long, long time ago, but I wanna go back to them. So rolling down, feet under the knees, hips come slightly up. We're not all the way up on the neck. If you're like, this is too far. Just the lower back's off the ground. We're just gonna lift and down and lift and down for a challenge, hands are on the hips, lift and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up, good. Or you can go up here, this works too. Whatever you like, up and down, up. Four more like this, four, three, two, one, good. Come up to releve. Now we're gonna do this in releve, in and out and in and place, and in and out and in and place. If this is too much, come flat. But we're working a little bit different part of the muscle, out and in, down. Good, use the abs, make sure they're pulled in tight, supporting you, good. Two more like this, one more. 
Good. Last set, we're going to go back to the flat. In and out, bat ma, out and in. In, out, bat ma, out and in. Good. Try and keep the hips still. This is, again, not about Cirque du Soleil. We want to keep the pelvis completely stable. In. Use that supporting foot. Press it into the ground. In, out, up, out, in. One more each side. Up, out, and in. Good. Up, out, in, down, and lower the hips down. Let's push, uh, bring the knees into the chest. Let the back release for a minute. Good. And breathe. All right, rock up to sitting. Flip around, side leg series. So, starting on your left side, using the right leg first, or not, really doesn't matter. Remember, I like doing both hands behind the head, so we're not dipping. So we're gonna start with just batma and flex, like we've done a million times before. However, we're gonna make it harder after that. So, start normal, and down, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down. Reach, good, and down, finding that position. Good, reverse it, flex it up, point it down, flex it up, point it down, good. Breathing, four, three, two, one. Okay, here comes the challenge. Either repeat that, bottom leg off, up and down. You're not gonna be able to go as high. I want you more stable than height, up and down. This is totally fine, right? If I start whacking my head, I'm gonna lose this. This is for right here. Re uh, reverse, flex, point down. Flex, just do your best. If you have to put it down, that's fine. Good. Four, three, two, one. Release. Devlape. Head comes down. Devlape up and stretch it down. Devlape up if you want. Get this arm out of the way. That's fine. Up. Pointer flex down. Doesn't matter. Up. Good. Reverse it. Envelope, down, envelope, down, two more, good, yep, you guessed it, leg off, développé, and down, uh -huh. just when you think it can't get any harder, if you want to lift your head up too, that makes it even harder, down, maybe not actually, up, either one, reverse, envelope, not about height, up, about the abs, last two, last one, good, and release. Let's give that hip flexor a break. So bend the knees, feet and shins come forward, everybody's favorite turnout exercise, opening up and close, and up and close. Remember guys, while we're doing this to distract you from this, um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel, especially right now. Doing the same exercises over and over, as long as you're doing it with good form and proper technique and making them harder and challenging yourself, that's great. You don't need like a different workout every day. So that's why this workout is similar to the last one. It's slightly different, but we're just building on it, you know, so you can keep getting stronger. Good. Let's do four more three, two, one. Good. Come back. We're going to do another one with the bottom leg off. So both legs up. We're going to just do top leg tap, 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 tap. Good. Bottom leg up, bottom leg up. A little bit of inner thigh work. Good. Repeat. Top leg, two. Really try. You can use a hand if you have to. Try not to. Bottom leg, bottom leg. Good. Up, up, up. Up. Good. Last little bit of inner thigh work. We saw, we've done this before too. We're just going to do 10 circles each way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. It should already be tired because we already did so much inner thigh work. Four, 
eight, nine, ten. A little bit different. Flex the foot, tap it front, tap it back. Aha, hello. Front and back. There it is. Uh huh. Just a little bit different, but man, oh man. Good. Front, back, front and back, front, back, front and back, front and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bottom, I'm sorry, top leg up. Let's stretch out that hip. Good. As always, guys, we're going to do my big long stretch at the end of the workout, so don't panic yet. I will stretch you out. Good. Okay. Flipping around. We're going to start with our Batmas. Remember, up and down like normal to start, so try not to use the hand. Up and down. Up, squeeze it down. And up, squeeze it down. Good. Up, squeeze it down. Good. Uh -huh. And reverse. Flex it up, point it down. Flex it up, point it down. Try and lengthen out as long as you possibly can. Four more like this. Three, two, one. Good. Bottom leg up. Same thing. Remember, it does not have to be as high and down and up and down and up and down. Use the lower stomach. That is your support here. Up. Good. Flex it. Flex it. Point it. Flex it. Point it. Flex it. Point it. Good. Not meant to be that pretty. <laughs> Three, two, one. Good. Lengthen out. Double pay like normal. Double pay up. Lengthen as long as you possibly can. Devil pay up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Envelope. Bend it down. Good. Envelope. Toe. Good. Try and keep the knee where it is. And then lower. Last one. Good. Now, coming up. Devil pay and down. Devil pay and down. You're doing great. If you have to drop the arm of the leg, that's fine. Build up to this. Reverse it. Up and down. Up. Two more. You're almost there. You got this. You got this. Last one. Awesome. Good. Okay. Let's give the inner thighs a break. Clam shell, feet and shins off, feet slight, uh, knees slight in front of you, open and down. Good. Ooh, hip pop. Bonus, chiropractics, open and down. Focusing on these rotators. Remember I say all the time, you guys, you will never have turnout if you don't have the strength to hold it. Gotta have the strength to hold it. Being whacked out's not there. It's not enough. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One, good, okay, coming back, both legs up, top leg down, and down, and down, 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 bottom leg up, bottom leg up, good, keep breathing, use the lower stomach on this, top leg, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last set, bottom leg, bottom leg, good, breathing, good, all right, last thing, 10 circles forward, 10 circles back, here we go, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flex the foot. Tap front. Tap back. Tap front. Back. This gets way upper inner thigh. Back. Front. Back. Front. Back. And back. And front. Back. Front. And back. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bottom leg, I'm sorry, top leg bends. Wow, I can't talk today. Top leg, that would be the top leg bends. <laughs> Woohoo. What was I doing? I was calling hands, shoulders. This is the bottom leg. I don't know. One of those days. All right. Breathing. Good. Maybe you'll get a little more chiropractic work and release. Okay, okay. the last thing we're do, gonna do before we stretch is some ab work. If you have a pillow, 
grab it. You don't have to use it. It's just a different way of working. We're not going to use it yet. Um, so we're going to start sitting up tall, getting those abs warm. No arms today. Up and down and up and down. Just starting here. I believe we did this last time as well. Up. This time, arms up, come down, and up, come down, and up, come down. Good. Up, roll back, come up, and here, and down, roll back, down, and here. This is just getting everything engaged, although it should have been already engaged the whole workout. Last set, we're going to use the legs. So, down and back and up to teaser. You can bend them if you want and two or keep them straight. Either one. Down and back. Down and up. Down. We're going to hold this one. Hold and release. Good. Okay, this is something we did ages ago too. We're going to do the Pilates 5 ab exercises. If you want to work more lower stomach, use the pillow. If you want more upper stomach, don't. So if you're using the pillow, we're going to put it under our hips. So we're already in this curved position. Again, if you're doing this workout more than once, change it up. Maybe use the pillow, maybe don't. So head comes up, in and out. One and two, single leg stretch. Good. Pulling. You should already be feeling the lower abs. Maybe don't use the arms. I think sometimes we get two in the arms on this. Good. Keep breathing. Lift a little bit higher. Good. Relax the neck. Keep pulling. Pulling. Good. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Both legs and arms out now. Out and in and up. Good. Four more. Three, two, one. Let's rest the neck for a second. Make sure we're not stretching. Readjust the pillow. And we do straight leg, straight leg. Good. No arms today. I want you just using the abs. No Cirque du Soleil. Doesn't matter about the legs. We're using the core. Good. Switch and switch. Keep breathing. Four more. Three, two, one. Head comes down, lower both legs, come back up. Lower both legs, come back up. No arching the back, keep everything in and lower and up. And again, up, down, and up, down. Last one, good. Last exercise, head comes up in the hands. We do our cross and cross and hold for two. Cross and cross and hold. Breathing, belly button to spine. Good. And hold. One and two and hold. One and two and hold. Good. Last set. And knees come into the chest. And breathe. Ditch the pillow. We don't need it anymore. And hold. Big inhale. And exhale. Good job, guys. That was not easy. Not easy at all. All right, time to do our big stretch. So either bend the knee, straighten it out, keep one leg in. I'm going to bend the knee today. And lift the leg up. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Hips are square. Think of almost arching the back. Remember, that will really help. Stretch the hamstring. Now push into the hands. Push, push, push. And release it, pulling in towards you. And push, push, push. And release. Should go a little further. One more time. Push, push, push. And then release. Gently pull it into you. Maybe now stretch the leg out if you can. I thought about changing up this stretch, but we kind of get it all in. So it's going to be exactly the same stretch that we always do. My my choreographed stretch. Good. Opening out to the side a little bit. Maybe develop alisacone. There's a wall right next to you. Use it. That's very handy. If not, just hold the leg. Good. And maybe a cross getting into the IT band. Try to keep that hip down. That'll really get into it a little bit more. 
Back to center, one last pull again. As the leg is in front of you, think of arching your back. You'll really feel a stretch in your hamstring. If you're shaking, good. And release it, other side. So gently pull that leg into you. Back is arched, or trying to. Now push into the hands with the hamstring. Push, push, push. And release it, should go a little farther. And again, push, push, push. And release. And one more time, push, push, push and release and hold. Maybe stretch the bottom leg if you haven't. Nice straight back. Out to side like double pay second. Trying to keep both hips down on the floor. And across you getting into the IT band, which is really important for all that quad work we did at the beginning. Good. Back to center, one last hamstring stretch here. Arch that back and release. Good, first side, foot to knee. Grabbing through or around, however you like. Finding that spot and once you find, you know, a sticky spot, maneuver around and then hold once you find your spot. Also helps to think of arching on this one. Good. And breathe. Couple more seconds. Good, and switch. Other foot to other knee, grabbing around or grabbing through. Maybe even press that knee out with your hand if you like. Think of arching the back, find your spot, and hold. Because we do those clamshells for turnout, we gotta stretch it out. You don't wanna tighten up. So always, always, always stretch out your hips after a turnout exercise. Good, okay, both legs up. I have to maneuver as always. Opening up to your alicicone split, gently pressing down, no forcing. And breathe. Good. Relax the shoulders. Make sure you're not, uh, but yeah, relax the shoulders. I was tensing mine. Good, now use your hands to push your legs together. Rock up to sitting, facing me. And we're gonna do our classic hip opener stretch, either all the way crossed, halfway, or Indian style. I like halfway. Sitting up nice and tall, hinging forward. Always stretch as if you were standing. We don't want to be like this in our double pace. So nice straight back. Fix your hair, optional. <laughs> if it got messed up while you're on the floor. Breathing. Good. If you find a spot, think of actually breathing right into that spot. It helps for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe it's a psychological thing, but it helps it open up. Okay, my favorite stretch, come to the Indian style, whatever leg's on top, press that shoulder away. You can go up and over first if that helps you and then press away, maybe turning into it. We're just stretching out the waistband area. Good. Breathing. Coming up, other side. Cross those legs, sitting up nice and tall, hinging forward. Breathing, finding that spot that might be a little, uh, breathing right into it. Good, coming up. Sit Indian style, either go up and over first or just straight away, press it away. A lot of you have asked me, this is random while we're stretching, what I use for mic, I literally use my phone. This thing is plugged into my phone, so if you see me like trying to move this thing around, that's what this is. <laughs> so, but the sound quality is so much better when I use it. So, All right, coming up to sitting, 
Now we're gonna do butterfly. So feet together. I like a little further away to get those outer hips. So hinging forward, you can use your elbows if you have to, to help hold those knees down, breathing. Good. And coming up, let's go open out to our second split. Maneuver around if you have to. Hip pop, chiropractics. So up nice and tall, over to one side. It's also fun if you, not fun, but just like a good stretch. If you think of actually looking towards the ceiling, instead of just side, this actually helps open you up a little bit. Mm hmm Good. And then other side. Ooh, my sternum just popped. Has anybody ever done that? Where you like pour the bra back and this bone pops? That was nice. Okay, good. And coming back up, good. Legs come together, I'm flipping around so you can see me. Turn the legs off, tuck the chin into the chest and just hold. We're gonna get into that vertebrae in between those shoulder blades. Good. Just let it relax. Now sitting up nice and tall, now we hinge forward. That helps turn off the back and gets into the legs more. Grab on if you can. Breathing. Try and keep your back as straight as possible. Good, and coming up. Okay, now we are going to do our lunge series. Actually, let's, you know what, let's do the cat, cat cow first. So, coming to all fours, let's just arch the back and curl. Just because I need this today, so we're gonna do it. Arch the back and curl. And one more time, arch the back and curl. Good. Now, sitting up tall, now we step a foot forward. Either stay here or up and forward off that kneecap, lunging forward, breathing, getting into that hip flexor. As I mentioned many times before, this is the series that you should do if you want to get your splits. Also, if you have your splits, it's a good just stretch series, but we're going to stretch the split in three separate parts and then you can get it. So this is the hip flexor. Now if you can, either stay here or grab the back leg. Now we're getting into the quad. Totally optional, you can also just do this. If you can, grab it. Now we're gonna do the stretch that Chris did in his bar class. If you watch that, we hinge back. Like he said, no swan lake, right? We wanna keep the back nice and long and tall as if we were standing, double play front. And now, since we did hip flexor, quad, and hamstring, now you slide into your split, hip flexor, quad, hamstring. That's a way to get your splits. Try to square it off. Good. Coming back, let's do the other side. So, part one. Either stay here or up and forward off the kneecap, lunging forward. Ooh, I desperately need this today. Okay, part two, quad, if you can. Lift the back, toes up, foot up. Grab it with the opposite hand, opposite hand. Part three, hamstring, sitting up. Try and hinge to the back, send the hips that way, keep your back straight. No swan lake. That would be this, by the way, if you didn't know. And now we do split. <laughs> Good. Come back to all fours. 
We're going to do my favorite stretch for your arches. So demi point on the back toes and then sit back in a child's pose, but stay in demi point. It's like so good for your, for your toes, for your arches. It's a really good stretch. Good, and coming up to a crouched position, we're gonna get the Achilles as if you could lift the arms off. Just stay. Let the head hang heavy. Pushing down into the heels, straighten up. Let's step back into another downward dog like we did earlier. Now your downward dog should be a little more bendy than it was before. Bend one knee, straighten the other, just like we did earlier. Getting Achilles in one foot, calf in the other. And switch. And switch. And switch. Good. Walk the feet into the hands. Let's hang out here for another minute. So cross the arms maybe. Bend the knees if you have to. Just hang out here for a second. I like crossing the arms here because it kind of lets your spine release. You should feel that. Your spine should be stretching like right between your shoulder blades. Good, bend the knees and slowly round it up. So that's it, guys, fantastic job. As always, this was not easy, keep working on it. As I said, you know, those things with the legs off the floor on your side, just build up to it. You know, maybe start with the hand down, maybe don't. Um, whatever you need to do to just do your best. That's all we ask for right now, as I've said many times already, it's about maintaining. You don't have to go for broke, so just do what you can. And I'm happy that I can be a resource to help you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment for what else you would like to see. If you missed that bar with my boyfriend, Christopher Sellers, former first solos with Ballet West, it's right down there. You can click it to watch. Love you guys so, so much. Hope you're staying healthy and happy, and I will see you next time.